There's not one inch of land in the United States that was not indigenous land at one time. Our people developed relationships with Mother Earth. You know, it's, it's a loving, caring relationship. One where we take care of Mother Earth and Mother Earth takes care of us. Because of these concerns about global climate change, I think there's more resonance now than there was in the past about thinking ahead over the next 100 years or the next 200 years. For tribes, they've always had to think that way. You know, they've, they've been here for hundreds of generations and they know that their children's children's children are going to be living on this land and so they need to take care of it so that it'll be here for them. are situated here at Pai Ranch on land that has been home to the Awaswas and Mutsun speaking people for thousands of years. We forged a partnership with them last year at a sunrise ceremony because as a food and farming organization we feel committed to understanding the history of the land where we're growing food and we have values rooted in love and justice and with that comes wanting to understand the history and the story of the peoples that have called this place home for thousands of years and their descendants who are survivors of systemic racism and tragedy and we want to create a place for the tribal members to come to connect with the land and for the general public to learn about the Amamutsun and their story. It's extremely important. It shows that, you know, it's not even about race anymore. It's about people and nature, you know. It's about people in this earth more than their skin color or anything like that. And it shows people that have nothing come with people that have plenty of land and they can share it with the people that have nothing. A lot of my people have nothing, you know, and, and to, to have somebody say, come here and, you know, and help us with our land and, you know, be able to gather what we can, and it's great. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So it's a really special opportunity to have, to be welcomed here and um, to be able to work with my ranch. Having that opportunity to learn more about folks that have a really deep history to understand that all people in California need to learn about and, and understand so that we can create a future that is much more positive and healthy and more just uh, is incredibly meaningful for me personally. Our ancestors were given the responsibility to take care of these lands by creator, and that's just not the Amamutan perspective. Most, if not all, Native American tribes have that same obligation, that same responsibility, and the same history of having 10, 12, 14,000 years or more of, um, of experience, of practice, of, of learning how to do that. And so we need to work with them to have them restore their knowledge so they can go back and take care of Mother Earth and they're within their tribal territories. That is the only way that we're going to restore and save Mother Earth.